I'm Ashley and I'm a first year veterinary student at St. George's University and for today you guys have voted and we are going to do the St. John's dorm tour today. So I'm going to show you around kind of what it looks like along with the laundry facilities and the study room on the fourth floor. And I also did want to mention that we do get housekeeping um, done in here like twice a week. So that's another important fact, but if you guys do have any questions at all during this video or about anything else to do with my life here, just put it down in the comments below and I will get back to you guys. I hope you enjoy. Welcome to St. John's Dorm. So this is kind of what the three suite bedroom looks like. You do have three separate rooms. I'll just show you guys kind of how the layout is now. And then when you walk in the main door, so there's the main door, and then you have your kitchen table with three seats, and you do have the kitchen uh, which has the two electric stoves and then plenty of storage space underneath or on top. Um, you are given a microwave and the fridge is here. And then you are given the trash can as well, but everything else that you see in here, you do have to buy separately, including your pots and pans, silverware, anything, um, including like the drying rack and then probably you saw the broom in the corner as well. So that you guys will have to buy. So next up, I'm gonna show you the bathroom and the shower. In the kitchen area, you also have a fire extinguisher that maintenance checks about once a month. So you will have people coming in and out just to check on everything. And then that uh, closet over there is where the air conditioner is. You do have to put in maintenance requests to either turn it up or down. Um, because we do not have access to that closet. But to the left here, we have the shower. You do share this with the three other people you have. So this is kind of what the shower looks like. You are provided the shower curtain, but you aren't provided anything else. So if you guys like bath, bath mats, then you'll need to get one yourself. There's plenty of stores here where you can get them. And then next up, we're gonna go to the bathroom. So we have the toilet, um, and then the trash can is provided. Everything else you have to get on your own. For toilet paper though, you do get eight toilet papers per month, I believe. But other than that, like I said, everything else you have to get, including soap and whatever else you guys need. Alright, so now I'm going to show you guys one of the bedrooms. Each bedroom is identical and to the right here we do have a closet. If you guys do want me to send you pictures on what it looks like on the inside, I can definitely do that. Just put it down in the comments below and I will try and get that to you guys. So you are given the desk as well, you are given the chair and the trash can. You are also given a safe and then a twin mattress. You do have to bring your pillows, blankets, comforter, clothes, anything you want to do with like study materials, any food, any like calendars or whiteboards like I have. A laundry basket is definitely needed unless you just want to use your backpack to move your clothes back and forth. 
And then I do have the uh, shade down. It does move up and down um, just because we don't get like a sun glare on this video. But if you guys do have any questions at all, please let me know down in the comments. This will be the complete tour of the St. John's dorm. And I will see you guys in the next vlog.